Hey everyone, what's up? I got a surprise for y'all. I'm doing a review of Conker's Bad Fur Day for the N64. I call this review the Conker sequel. Now this thing, Conker's Bad Fur Day, was a video game based on Conker's Pocket Tales for based on by Rareware. It's creations. This video game, when it first came out, was originally, it was actually called 12 Tales Conquer 64. But they remade it to Conquer's Pocket Tales because the, well, because the character's voice, Conquer, was too high-pitched and the story was a little bit too silly. Conquer the Squirrel had an annoying, high-pitched, girly boy. Squeaky voice. Like, yee-haw, you big guy, yo, yee-haw. I'm Conquer the Squirrel, yeah, yeah. I can't really talk too loud because my mother is sleeping. So this, although this game is another story. Well, in the years to come, Conquer's Bad Fur Day came out in the beginning of the century. I first got this purchase video game many years ago. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, it's an awesome video game. It, it's an actual shock. It's a shocker. How Rareware made this video game, it made it to this, from Little Child's Game, from this, into this, Bad Fur Day, an alcoholic squirrel. An alcoholic squirrel is going to take over the country, the Panther Kingdom. He's going to become, he wants to become an, a king, an unwanted king. Unwanted king of all the land. It was called, actually called the Fairy Panther Kingdom. At the, end, he actually, at the end of the game, he actually defeats the Panther King. You know, even though he does not want to be king, become king of all the land, he just wants to go back home. And just chill out with his girlfriend, Barry the Chipmunk. But no! But no! The game developers have purposely programmed Conquer the Squirrel to become king of the land. I like to call this video game Nightcrawler's Nightcrawler's Adventure. The name of the video game is obviously called Conquer's Bad Ferdy, but I like to call it Night Nightcrawler 64. Nightcrawler's Adventure. Hey, check out the bartender at the back there. This is a video game invented by the sophisticated British game developers Rareware. There's the multiplayer, but we'll go through that another time. I'm going over the hangover chapter of the Fairy Panther Kingdom. Now, at the beginning of the game, Conquer the Squirrel's all hung over. I feel sick. Ugh, I don't 
Whenever a conqueror is hungover, you can't even run, can't even jump high, can't even squat. The Z button is to squat, the control stick is to move, A is to jump, B is to attack, but he can't even attack. Completely hungover. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, so Talk about a trash talking hey. squirrel. Oh, so Man, even I like to. First of all, I gotta give Rareware credits. They're the ones who mass produce the characters and the graphics in this video game. Kicks butt. This video game I had many years ago when I was in the third form. Intoxicated birdie oh, scarecrow. Can you help me? The offensive British trash talking. You see those buttons, yeah. Actually, you'll find that uh, uh, the current context says to me. <laughs> and uh, I will actually the, uh, uh, press B. Press B. Oh, yeah. The light comes on. Uh, and it makes a nice ting. It makes a ting noise. Nice ting. The lock ting. Hey, 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 hey. That's it. Alcohol. The beer? Man, I can't believe you drank that beer so fast. And I even puke. That's nice, I just want to make the... I want to show you all a trick. As you can tell, Beardy, the, the drunken... Yeah, Birdie, the drunken thing. Bury the drunken scarecrow once after he hit it. Short tempered. Talk about a short tempered scarecrow. I 
So pressing the A button and A button again, I die. But I can't really submerge myself underwater, not at the moment, because well, because of the because conquer the squirrels, not sensitive, it's not confident enough to swim, submerge himself underwater. Got it all right. I'm no newbie this video game. Had it for many years. Z button to A button to jump higher. It definitely reminds me of Nightcrawl. This is it, the woods of the Fairy Panther Kingdom. <laughs> Loudmouth trash talking gargoyle. Going close, you'll knock me over. Don't I already don't ask, and viewers don't ask me why because I already know so. I had this video game many years ago. If I go close to the, to the trolling, trash talking gargoyle, you'll knock me right off the cliff and right into the ravine. It's small reservoir of water. Just, just, just standing. It's just. Standing right below, below the depths of the waterfall. Hang on, something missing here. Didn't I have a? I already know. Once I press the B button, I get the frying pan. Stand still and let me hit you. Running fool, I got you. Nah, don't worry, Key. No need to be alarmed. No need to be alarmed, Key. I already got what I wanted. Takes care of the gigantic thing. Down the hatch it goes. Plunger with dynamite. Um, I think 
Kaboom! Yep. Fantastic. Let's go and get some shut-eye. Finally. And that ends the the hungover. The hangover chapter. Conquers Bad Fur Day. I get this video game. It has great graphics and great controls. Conquers Bad Fur Day. It gives this video game a 9 out of 10. You wanna know why? Because at the ending, the ending, the, most of the gameplay is good. Good graphics, good gameplay, but the ending's terrible. Because at the end of the game, Barry the Chipmunk has been defeated by. He's been defeated by, uh, what's it called again? Don Weasel. Evil Panther King's his right hand man. Either, Evil Panther King of the Fairy Panther Kingdom. He actually kills Barry the Chipmunk. A beautiful, attractive character who is conquers girlfriend, his fiance. I just can't believe the redneck game developers rareware had to produce that. Could they at least made Barry live? At least let Barry live and let even though Conqueror is an unwanted king of all the land, could they at least let Barry the Chipmunk live or, or bring at least bring her back to life? Why uh, why rareware? Do you not like women? <laughs> 